Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to lecture of classical mechanics in this lecture i will solve problem number 7.12 uh, with you uh, which is the particle of mass m rest on a smooth plane so uh, the plane is raised to incline angle theta at a constant rate uh, alpha theta is zero at t is equal to zero causing the particle to move down the plane determine the motion of the particle we have to find the equation of motion for the particle so this is of the particle which has mass m and it is uh, arrested on the plane and the particle and this inclination is raised by angle theta definitely due to action of the gravitational force uh, it will come down because of the gravity so as this angle as this inclination increase the particle will come down so we have to find the equation of motion for this particle you know that this particle has two uh, dimension um, two dimension motion the first we will need the x and y dot if this particle is moving in two dimension so definitely we will know need uh, the two coordinate the first x and the second for y so we can find its kinetic energy because we have to seek the expression for the lagrangian in which we will need the lagrangian is equal to t minus u first we will find the kinetic energy and the second we will need for the potential energy this particle is in two dimension so it will need uh, it will contain x coordinate and y coordinate for description of uh, its uh, motion so kinetic energy will be equal to m over 2x dot k square plus y dot k square and for potential energy u is equal to mg y by using the polar coordinate because we know that x is equal to r sorry x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta so we take that derivative to, uh, x uh, we can take the x dot and similarly for y dot so put this x dot and y dot in this equation it will give us m over 2 r dot square plus r square theta dot square and for potential energy u will be mg y this is y which is mg y r sin theta so potential energy we have potential energy as well as kinetic energy and alpha was the rate at which this incline this incline plane was raised so alpha is equal to theta over t alpha is the rate at which this angle was made to increase okay so lagrangian will be equal to t minus u over t is this term and potential energy is this so we will put and theta will be equal to alpha into t because you can find theta here if we cross multiply this equation so it will be alpha t now we have lagrangian we can find its uh, motion by putting this into lagrangian equation for generalized coordinate r we will need this equation d or dt partial l over partial r dot minus partial l over partial r so we will need here partial l over partial r the derivative of l with respect to r and similarly derivative of partial l over partial r dot uh, first we will take the derivative of lagrangian with respect to r dot then we will take it time derivatives and it will uh, when we substitute this derivatives in this equation it will uh, give us i can show you the derivatives because you can if we, if we put that derivatives in this lagrangian equation so it will be equal to mr double dot minus m alpha square r plus mg sin alpha t is equal to zero uh, rearranging this equation for r dot so it will be r double dot minus alpha square r is equal to minus g sin alpha 2 which is the second order differential equation we have the general solution you know that if we have any general solution we can find its solution and if we have any differential equation we can find its uh, solution so it will be equal to general solution plus particular solution this because this contain two term the first is the r double dot the first term is homogeneous part and the second will be non homogeneous part the homogeneous part is equal to r dot uh, minus alpha square r is equal to zero sorry this is r dot uh, r double dot minus alpha square r is equal to zero the first non homogeneous part when this alpha square r will go on the other side so it will become r double dot minus alpha square r is equal to zero this is the homogeneous part and equation for a this will be known as particular solution yp and the second is the general solution 
which will be solution for this part okay so r is equal to r1 plus r2 r1 is just for particular solution consider it and the second is for uh, c general solution so if we solve uh, one by one well, first for uh, particular uh, homogeneous part r double dot minus alpha square r is equal to zero so its solution will be very simple and you know that from the course of the ordinary differential equation you know that r1 dot will be equal to a exponential alpha t plus p exponential alpha alpha t and uh, for where r2 is solution for the second equation r double dot minus alpha square r will be equal to minus this so we can find r2 dot for the second r2 which will be equal to c cos alpha 2 r2 plus c sin alpha t so since the differential equation is sin alpha t therefore we pick the second choice because uh, we have two solution r2 will be equal to this sum like this r2 has two solution r2 will be equal to c cos alpha t plus sorry yeah, double c plus in return plus uh, d for example d sin alpha t the solution for this equation will be this because it will contain cos term and sin term so because our given equation contains sin term so our solution should have contain sin term we will neglect this ignore this because our given equation contains sin term so our solution will be contain this sin term so our solution will be equal to r2 will be equal to d sin alpha t r we can say this is the constant so we can write it with the c or d this doesn't matter so r2 will be equal to c sin alpha t and then if first one we find r2 so we can take it double derivative and put in this equation so it will give minus c alpha square sin alpha t minus in the place of r so we will put r2 will be equal to c sin alpha sin t and uh, similarly minus g alpha sin t i have did nothing done nothing but uh, just r2 is equal to c sin alpha t and uh, first i will take the first derivative r2 dot then i will take the second derivative and put in this place then i will put in the place of this r r2 is equal to c sin alpha t in the place of g i have placed minus g and sin alpha t i will compare the two equation this sin alpha t and sin alpha t so c will be equal to g over 2 alpha square this sin will be compared with this sin it will give this uh, c constant and then i will put this c into this equation into this equation in the place of this c so it will give us equation r2 will be equal to you know that when we put this value of c into this equation r2 is equal to c c will be g over 2 alpha square 2 alpha square and sin alpha t okay so we have obtained r2 and we have already obtained r1 so its uh, r will be equal to r1 plus r2 this is r2 and this is r1 you can use the initial condition and we can find and evaluate this constant also this two constant okay this is not difficult problems we have already gone through uh, this in the course of ordinary differential equation so i will just uh, write uh, the value of this constant a will be equal to this and b will be equal to this this is the value of the constant a and b uh, by using the initial condition r is equal to r not uh, theta is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 so it will give this to you and by substitution of this a and b in this equation and rearrange this equation this will be equal to r dot plus g over alpha square plus this two terms this r dot minus this g over alpha square plus r dot plus g over two alpha square exponential minus a t plus this whole term so this is the general solution of this particle motion so i will stop at this point and uh, we'll meet in the next lecture